Hey guys, Greg with BTOT TV and BTOD.com. In today's stability test, we're gonna be taking a closer look at Autonomous' home product or what's now called the Autonomous Core. Now this is their entry level standing desk. If you haven't had a chance to watch these videos before, we like to look at a standing desk stability, both front to back or rocking motion and left to right, what we call the wobble motion at various heights with different weights applied to the surface. Now, if you'd like to learn why we picked those heights and those weights, check out the link in the top right hand corner. This is the standing desk stability testing explain video, which will help you better understand those things. Now with that, let's go ahead and jump into the first test. Before we show you the first test for the autonomous core product, we wanna talk about a couple different things. Number one is the setup. As you can see, the desk does have cinder blocks on the top plus a smaller dumbbell and the weight of the surface to hit that first 100 pound mark. This desk has a range that starts at about 29 and a half inches and it will go up to about 48 and a half inches. This is gonna allow us to look at four specific heights today and it has a capacity of about 300 pounds. So we're gonna be able to look at three different weight capacities at those various ranges of height. With that, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the desk at its first setup. Now, this is 29 and a half inches with the 100 pounds on the surface. We're gonna check the wobble first. And like many of the desks that we've tested, it doesn't have any wobble issues at the bottom height. Same is true for the front to back rocking motion. There is no movement. Now we're gonna jump up to our first height, which is 39 inches. This is the height that the average female who's about 5'4 in the United States would stand at their desk. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. We'll do the wobble first. You can see nice and solid at that height. And we'll do the rocking test. Same thing here, nice and solid. We'll jump up to 42 and a half inches. Now 42 and a half inches is the average height for the male population in the United States, which is 5'9". This is where they would stand. So we'll do the same test here. And you can see the autonomous core product is, is good with the wobble. Now front to back rocking. There's a little bit of movement there, but you can see it's pretty solid through the frame. Now when we max this desk out, we're going to take this up to that 48 and a half inch mark and we'll see how it performs here. This is going to be the weakest point for all standing desks. And that's definitely true. for The autonomous core product, because there is more motion there. Now front to back rocking. Same thing. So once we max out the height on this particular product, you can see it does have issues, but that's not uncommon. That's something we see with almost every single standing desk that we test. We're gonna bring it back down. We're gonna add 200 pounds onto it, and then we're gonna test those same heights again. For our second test, we've got the desk set at 200 pounds. Again, we're at the bottom height here, 29 and a half inches. Nice and solid front to back, no motion there either. So we'll take it up to 39 inches. And now at 39 inches, with 200 pounds, it was definitely not as easy to get it to wobble with less weight. Once you get more weight on here, you can see that it's it has more motion, but again, you know, you're kind of getting it started. It's, it's still pretty solid, I think, at this height, um, this frame, everything's still pretty intact. When we go to the front to back rocking motion, this is probably a little bit more noticeable, I think, than the, the wobble. See, with the wobble, everything stayed nice and intact. You can see the feet were planted firmly on the floor. When we have this amount of weight on here, and we do this rocking test, it, you can actually hear the, the feet, the adjustable feet kind of moving up and down on the floor. So there's some more motion there, but I think overall still, you know, at 39 inches, not an issue. There's just a little bit more movement, especially with the front to back. And that's something that you want to take note of because as we come up to this next height, it may be more noticeable. But I think, you know, with the square tubes at 42 and a half, I still think that this autonomous home, it's doing better than the, uh, the more expensive product from autonomous. But you can see here, this is where it's 
a little bit more of an issue. That front to back rocking motion, this is where it's more noticeable here. You can actually hear the sound. So at 42 and a half inches, the front to back rocking is definitely more noticeable on the core product. And now when we take it up to the top, because it was a problem there, it's, it's going to be worse here, but again, fully extended, this is to be expected. Without a traditional cross support, you know, this is just, this is gonna happen. It doesn't, this particular frame, as you can see under here, there is no wedge system. And so this, this wobble that you get on this desk is just one of those things that you're gonna have to kind of deal with. Now it is maxed out, so we do kind of expect that front to back rocking. You can see it's starting to pick the feet up off the floor. So with 200 pounds fully extended, that, that front to back rocking is probably the most noticeable of all the tests so far. So we're gonna bring it back down. We'll go ahead and max this out. This desk maxed out at about 300 pounds. We'll go ahead and see how it performs for the final test. For our third and final test, we've got it maxed out at 300 pounds. It's at its lowest point. We'll go ahead and do the wobble test first. You can see you really can't get that to move. It's nice and solid at the bottom. Front to back rocking with all this weight. You know, that's one of those things where you can start to see it a little bit. Again, there's a ton of weight, but I mean, you can, when you start to see that motion at the bottom, that's never a good sign. And we know through the other tests that that is where it was its weakest, was that front to back rocking. We'll take it up to 39 inches. I imagine that's gonna get even more exaggerated, especially with 300 pounds on the surface. So at 300 pounds, at 39 inches, you can kind of get it moving left to right, but I think for a, a wobble motion, this is still nice and solid at 39 inches, but this rocking, I get to stop here. So once that momentum gets going, you can see it just keeps going. Just with my thumb, I can get it rocking. You know, you kind of got you got to push a little bit on there. I think once we go up to 42 and a half inches, it's probably going to be quite a bit easier, especially with all this weight. We'll see how it performs here first with the wobble. And this is tough. I mean, it's got 300 pounds on the surface. It doesn't have a traditional cross board. It doesn't have the wedge system. So you can see there's more movement there. But this rocking, you can actually you heard the pop in the feet with all that weight rocking back and forth in there. So at 42 and a half inches, the, the rocking motion is even more pronounced. Now at the max height, we'll see how it does. And to be expected, it's not gonna be perfect with wobble with all this weight and no traditional cross support, but still, you know, still pretty good for those square tubes. I think they're doing pretty well considering the fact the front to back rocking though, that's not doing as well. And then once you get it going, you can just see it just kind of keeps going on its own. It goes for quite a while. So how did this desk perform? I think wobble testing, it, it definitely did better than the rocking testing through pretty much all of the heights with the exception of the absolute bottom. If we were to compare this to what they call their pro product, I actually think this one is a, a little bit better of a performer now. It doesn't have quite the same range either, so that's something to consider. But as far as wobble is concerned, this desk, I think, in my opinion, outperforms their pro. Rocking, maybe not, but whatever is best for your needs is really all that truly matters. So hopefully this video helped you better understand how the Autonomous Core product would impact your standing and your stability needs with the various weights at the various heights that we tested. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our standing desk content that we've got coming up. Thanks a lot for watching.